These collars were used abroad the Nostromo, likely ferrying the captured indigenous people back to Spain to be sold as slaves. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. This cross, it looks like it's from the 17th century. The door closed and a silence settled. So great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room, walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. The others are worried that brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors.
chips. Twenty fifth of December, sixteen o three. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. Twenty sixth of December, sixteen o three. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. John, son of Zebedee one of Jesus' apostles, also called the Beloved Disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, Sons of Thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the Three Epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He's the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. be darkened and the moon will not give its light the end of days. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission.
Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They have prepared the bell tower and worked the fields, planting crops. Brother de la Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient. We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. his wings you may seek refuge. Jonah, those two Bible quotes, the sun will be darkened and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. There's a whole mural under here. box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from Dominguez? We'll find a way. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Two. Jesus falls the first time. 
There's an inscription here. Ambulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you have the light. so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station three. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost. This must be Station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frescoes. second time. Sick. This must be Station 6. Staged the whole crucifixion with mummies? Seems sacrilegious. So I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Uh, this is the 
This is disgusting. I'm glad I wasn't around when Lopez was. That inscription, do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. Okay, let's do this. Only the hands of the Righteous One may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. He led us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. Totally consumed by it. Where is she? I don't know. I 
I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Release him, and I will give you the box. Laura, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. <laughs> I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend. But he was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to Paititi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? You can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara, how many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Laura, go! Stop him! Past just now? Yeah. Hey. Keep your heads up. I got your back. Start the search pattern. Strength in numbers. Copy that. Could be there. Could be this way. God damn it, he's hunting us! This is Rourke. Jonah Maeva has the box, and Lara Croft was last seen in the church. Find them! They just left her alone in the turf. It was chaos in there, obviously. But this is Croft. There was something more... Using mud! <laughs> Oh, 
find who did this. Oh shit, I better look around. Something's out there. Jonah, where are you? I'm in the cane field. They can't see me. Keep your head down. I'm on my way. Field, all units. Priority one. Find Lara Croft. You heard the commander. Let's go hunting. Croft, I know you're out there. I should have killed you in Siberia, but Dominguez was against it. That's on me. But I'm gonna fix that mistake. Now. He's playing right into our hands. Hey!
How much longer to pay TT? Almost there. I'm sorry I lost the box. It's not your fault. It's... It's Dominguez. It's Trinity. All the way back, as far as I can remember, it's always been them. I could have had a family. Everything could have been different. We will get the box, and we will stop Dominguez. Your Highness. Lara. Where, where's the box? Amaru has it. But the death of the sun draws near. We'll get it back before he completes the ritual. This will not be easy. We'll have to adjust the plan. Please, take your time to prepare yourself. We'll gather intelligence and fighters. Thank you. I'll stay here and lend Uchu a hand. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. I'm telling you, Uchu, I have never heard of anyone get... Lara, it's good to see you again. <laughs> you too, Uchu. How are the preparations going for Etsli's coronation? Not well, sadly. Shortly after you left Paititi, a group of hunters pulled Zan's body from the wilderness. Zan? Was he one of the men you sent out? To retrieve the champion's bow, yes. Lara, I hate to ask you, but... But... Would I go and get the champion's bow? It's a lot to ask. This is the most difficult of the items to retrieve. Zan was one of our best. May I ask what makes this bow so special? Queen Unaratu's ancestors carved it from the first Seba tree to grow in the wilderness outside the city. It has been handed down through generations. She bestowed it upon Sairi, Etsli's father, on their wedding day. It joins the two families together, but it was lost many years ago, taken by the Nahua. The Nahua? That's someone who has the power to transform into an animal, right? Yes. This one stalks the jungle outside the city. Envious, it tricks Sairi into giving it the bow. Edsley is the rightful heir of the champion's bow. Without it, he cannot be king. Okay. Point the way. Thank you. You will find the entrance directly across from here, up the shore of the river. Don't worry. I'll do my best to get the bow. This must be the jungle entrance. Not very inviting, but I suspect that's a point. You go first. First? I'm not going in there 
at all. Did you see the guy they pulled out of there? What was left of him? Come on, just to the top of the path. If it's anywhere, I'll bet the champion's bow is in there. Let's get this bow back to Uchu. Do not leave the city. Those who leave become cursed, forced to wander the jungle, and never find peace.
This obsidian tipped arrow was snapped in half. It looks similar to those used by Unaratu's rebels. If they went up against Trinity with these primitive weapons, they never had a chance. This could be interesting. I've left and come back, and no demons haunt me. Was I just lucky, or has the cult lied to us? What do they have to gain from keeping us here? Looks like gold. Something on the other side. <sighs> your scar, your way united the two sides, ending the war. However, their blood still boiled. In order to placate the soldiers, someone must be punished. Yahweh rounded up the merchants believed to be responsible for the conflict and sacrificed them. May Olanta find the clays and metals of the afterlife suitable to her craft. Shit. 
this won't be easy. Okay, one last leap. <clears throat> Hope this is worth the trouble.
After the long dry season, when the rains finally fell, the rats left their burrows looking for more food. They brought with them pests. Those afflicted bleed from their ears and nose and died in terrible pain and terrible numbers, leaving many once populous cities empty. Amaru returned for his brother's funeral, inconsolable during the burial and immovable after. The next day, however, he cut swiftly through the city. He unmasked the cult's leader, exposing them as outsiders. It is time for the people of Paititi to take control of their city, he said, holding a decapitated head in one hand and the bloody knife in the other. No longer will we bow to outsiders. I can't believe how much Edsley has grown in such a short time. He's lost both his parents. I wonder how he's really doing. Well, he's handling it better than I did, that's for sure. <laughs> 